All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So, this morning we got the leaked Dokkan V jump details for this month, courtesy of Air Dokkan on Twitter. So, a big shout out to him for posting this, of course. And while we don't have the actual image right now to look at, we do have basically all of the relevant information that's on there, right? So, with all that said, let's jump right into it and uh, take a look at what's going on and find out why a lot of people in the Dokkan community are actually very excited right now. So the first thing that was revealed is that there's going to be a new Frieza that Dokkan awakens into Frieza and Dead Core or the Undead Army, the Zombie Army, whatever you want to call it. And for people that are confused by what that means, it's basically the Frieza that we saw in this year's uh, April Fool's prank from a couple months ago. And it's the Frieza from the uh, Fusion Reborn movie with like, you know, all the undead people, right? So um, this of course has led a lot of people, rightfully so I think, to believe that the upcoming celebration in July, which is gonna be this year's Tanabata celebration, is gonna be Fusion Reborn themed. And I think uh, a lot of people, myself included, don't think the Frieza is going to be the Dokkan Fest for this year. He's probably going to be either a side unit or maybe a free-to-play unit. I'm not really sure, but I don't think the Frieza is going to be the main Dokkan Fest. The main Dokkan Fest is most likely, given that it's Fusion Reborn, going to be a new Super Gogeta. And, you know, if you think about it, it's been a while since we've had a new standalone Super Gogeta from the Fusion Reborn movie. I mean, the last one, I think is, I mean, I, I guess it's gotta be the Int Super Gogeta, right? Cause, I mean, if you think about like the third anniversary one, that's Goku and Vegeta that fuses into Gogeta. And recently we had a PyCon with a, you know, unit super attack that includes Gogeta, but that's not actually Gogeta either, so. Yeah, and of course you can't count the Dragon Ball Super Gogeta because that's a different Gogeta. So, yeah, in terms of Dragon Ball Z Fusion Reborn Gogeta, it's been a while since we've had one. And um, the Tanabata celebration this year most likely is going to bring us a new LR Super Gogeta. And the celebration is probably going to be a Fusion Reborn themed celebration. And if we go back to just last year, um, for the Tanabata celebration in 2020, the Dual Dokkan Fest, or sorry, not Dual Dokkan Fest, the Dokkan Fest was for the LR Blue Boys, right? The Super Saiyan Blue, um, Kauk and Goku, and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. And for this year, I think it's most likely gonna be a Dokkan Fest LR Super Gogeta. New side unit last year was Krillin. This year, probably that Frieza that, um, you know, Dokkan Awakens into the Frieza and the Undead Army. And then there's also obviously going to be that Tanabata Dokkan Festival that we have every single year where they put the new unit on that banner along with the uh, last, you know, the previous years, or rather the current year's uh, anniversary units. So the second point that he has here is that the LR Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta will be coming back. Pretty obvious. Most people that have been playing this game for a couple of years um, have expected this. So there will also be that kind of bad at Dokkan Festival with uh, the new LR, most likely LR Super Gogeta, and then the two sixth anniversary LRs, the MUI Goku and Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta. And obviously this is happening at the exact same time as uh, the global sixth anniversary where we'll be getting the MUI Goku and the Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta for the first time. So both sides will be getting the sixth anniversary LRs together, like every single year. Um, so yeah, nothing really new there, but in terms of the, you know, new unit for, for JP, I'm, I'm pretty happy about a Super Gogeta. I know some people have complained that there's just been too many Gogetas, you know, in this game, but you gotta realize, man, it's a business at the end of the day, right? Like this game is a business. They're trying to make as much money as possible before you know, it dies, which I don't think is happening anytime soon. I think Dokkan's gonna be around for a long time, but either way, they're trying to suck as much money out of us as possible. And the way to do it is to release hype units like Broly's, like UI Goku's, 
like uh, Gogeta's, right? And Vegito's, of course, but I think Gogeta is even a little bit more hype than Vegito to most people. I could be wrong. I don't know. I'm just biased. I'm a Gogeta fanboy, as you guys know. So <laughs> either way, um, a Gogeta will do big numbers. A Gogeta will pull in a lot of, you know, money from stone sales. So either way, um, I think Gogeta is pretty likely. Of course, it's not confirmed. It's not guaranteed. Okay, we don't know for sure. But um, if it's going to be Fusion Reborn, then obviously the main character, the main draw of the Fusion Reborn movie was Gogeta, right? Um, one other thing, of course, that we didn't mention yet, and this is going to be a byproduct of... Well, not really a byproduct, I don't want to call him that, but either way, if it's going to be Fusion Reborn, then we've got to get that Extreme Z Awakening for Tech Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku, right? So um, I think this is also coming, very, very likely. He is... Oh, is he the last 120 lead EZA? I think he is, right? There's nobody else left. I feel like I might be forgetting somebody. No, I, I think him and Cooler were the last ones, and Cooler just got his EZA, so... Yeah, guys, I think Tech Super Saiyan 3 Goku, EZA will complete the 120 lead, the Neo God, um, you know, group, and that's pretty big, that's pretty hype, and of course, man, this guy needs that EZA for sure, like, he, he needs it bad, he needs it bad, um, both, honestly, offensively and defensively, like, his damage is not bad, he's still doing, like, 2 million, maybe even 3 million sometimes, but, um, he has no defense, man. Look at this. Attack plus 120%. Attack plus 20% per Rainbow Key Sphere obtained. Where's the defense? There's no defense. So I'm sure they're going to give him some defense, give him a little bit more attack, and uh, maybe a medium chance to stun the enemy with that EZA, right? And of course, a slightly better leader skill too. But um, yeah, that's coming too. Hope you guys are, are stoked for that. And okay, okay, okay you know what? Before I... <laughs> Before I end the video, let me just be clear that all of this stuff that I'm talking about, aside from like what's been confirmed, right, aside from the Frieza and the uh, Undead Army, and also of course Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta and MUI Goku coming back, everything else I said is kind of speculation, right? We're just extrapolating from the fact that it is a Fusion Reborn celebration, so it would make sense for them to, you know, release a new Gogeta as the Dual Dokkan Fest. Why do I keep saying Dual Dokkan Fest? It's not a dual Dokkan Fest. As the Dokkan Fest LR for this year's Time to Battle Celebration. And uh, it would also make sense for Super Saiyan 3 Angel Goku to get that Extreme Z Awakening. Given the theme of the celebration. And um, that's pretty much all there is to say I guess. Yeah, there's not really much else to go off of. We only got these two points. Maybe when the official image comes out. There might be like something else hidden in there. But usually for these V-Jump leaks they don't really... Or even just the like actual V-Jump image right they don't really give away too much information it's more supposed to just be like a little preview to get people hyped and um yeah it definitely did that <laughs> it definitely did that people are really excited for this potential gogeta and i am too because i am just the biggest gogeta fanboy man i love vegeto too i have to say this every time i do love vegeto but gogeta will always be number one for me so there you have it guys Dokkan Beach Jump League for this month, uh, Tanabata Celebration coming up, Frieza Undead Army, Tanabata Banner, or uh, sorry, sorry, Tanabata Dokkan Fest, as well as Tanabata Banner with the 6th year LRs, and potentially Super Saiyan 3 Goku um, Extreme Z Awakening. So, look forward to all of that stuff, and uh, that's going to be today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, if you liked today's video then make sure to like the damn video and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content oh of course sub to the channel my bad i forgot about that hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad and uh lastly oh no that's it those are all the things like the damn video sub to the channel notification bell and that's all i gotta say man have an awesome awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media, signing out.